Jura. That's two full, that was two quick ones, honestly. Like, it, that it, was. It didn't fit, like, like as in the scores might not represent it, but it, dude, it just flew. <laughs> yeah, like game four, it didn't feel like a game four. No. But both of these players, I think they were putting out a lot, you know, their hearts were in it. But like, back to Victoria again. It's like that stupid song that we all listen to on Gibbons stream. Back to the Vic again. <laughs> oh no, we're back to the Vic again. That being you know. said, a much stronger showing from uh, from the rest of the country, I guess, if you will. I mean, not everyone's here at the moment. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, exactly. Man, I hate Victoria. Yeah, I just want to see the Interstaters get some stuff going. Dude, you know? I just want to see good Smash, and especially from some different people. That's true. But that being but we'll, said... We'll have to settle for the Jurakaran, right? Oh, like, you know, how awful that we have to settle for two very high-level PR players in Vic. In losers finals, how terrible! Both of these guys, both these guys have been have been inebriated at my house um, <laughs> with with different different effects. So so Strix inebriated at my house. He tried to kiss me. Um, he was he was like really really you know affectionate, right? Whereas Jura was the reverse. You know, I thought like Jura when when he was when he was getting a bit lit. He kind of receded into his shell a bit. He was like more, even even more closed off than normal, you know. And I think that reflects in their neutrals. Yeah. I think it's, I'd say more so their character than their neutral. <laughs> you know, just a different kind of people. You know what I mean? Exactly. Completely different. That being said, Jura on this current, very big MKLeo fan play. It feels like because, I mean, that's what I think this man just watches top, like top of the smash. I know? think Jura's the kind of guy who sees a character who's like, you know what, that seems cool, and then he just does it. You know, he's done it with Toon Link, he's done it with Violet, he's done it with Joker, he's done it with Mewtwo, he's done it with like literally every character. I don't know like why he keeps picking up different characters and how he's so good with all of them. I think he just has the, the power of something that a lot of us don't have is time. It's true. <laughs> And he's hitting the reward for it, so can't Boomer play comms in the house. What? Down airs! Two down airs. Unfortunately, those little, like, the minor hits on those down airs are, are not doing a lot of damage. I think it maybe did like a total of 8%. That being said, if he got the right hit, it, it could have potentially killed, you know, if it pushed uh, Roy down enough. So you just gotta, you just gotta hold. That's true. You gotta take that risk, right? Because the reward's pretty damn good. All right, and I was gonna say, unfortunately for um, for Jura, I'm pretty sure that Shrix has some experience in this in this matchup. You know, be it Smash Four, be it Maple Mage, potentially an ACT playing this character as well. Um, it's not it's not anything that's unfamiliar. Exactly. No, Shrix Shrix really feels like that. You know, he feels like a bit of a grandmaster, a bit of a wizened old man. Sometimes he has. Even though he plays such an explosive character, he's also so happy to just like use his knowledge and when he finds the openings, like really, really show it off. Let's just say it for what it is, man. This man's a gremlin. He puts in the work and it pays off. You know what I mean? That's life, man. That's it. Doesn't matter what, what hobby it is, you know? It doesn't even have to be a hobby. It could be your work, it could be your school, you know what I mean? Put the work in, Put the get work the results in, out. And it pays off. Yeah, get those results. Practice makes perfect, you know? And in this case, perfect is looking like potentially taking game one off Jura in the loser's fight. Yeah, it's looking to be... Oh! That was a dashing f tilt. Who would have like, thought? It's like a weird one because he, he like... It looked like he went for like, uh, like an auto-cancel. I want to see... Yeah, you see, it, it, it didn't auto cancel. Yeah, there you go. Well, what, whatever move you used. If it works, it works. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a it's like a like a higher level thing, right? Like just in general. Like I'm not saying like top level, but like a mid level thing, right? Where you see a lot of people they'll, they'll auto cancel instead of just like t having to tech. But whatever move you used might not have the window, or you didn't time it right. Yeah. So then it ends up having the actual lag, and then you just got hit hard. Yeah. I mean, like, look. Sometimes you escape tumble, but you're still stuck in lag on place. Yeah. In place. And maybe the lag would be less than if you didn't do a take in place. But you're still in lag. Yeah. You're still vulnerable. I mean, I don't think it's going to change the option that Shrix is going to go for. Let's be real. Exactly. Exactly. Did you get the weekend on the smash attack? It sounds so funny. 
Yet, yeah, Roy's weak hits are just really funny in general, I think. Like, you just kind of clip them with things, and then they're like, you're not actually plus on hits, but they're still in so much shock that you just get them. What? Already, that first stock going really deep, channeling a bit of masked mayhem there. I think now that you mention that, it's kind of important because I think the problem is is that the weak hits have so little hit lag that you can't react to it like a normal move, you know what I mean? Like, That's true, actually. No, I think you're right. You kind of get hit, you're like, oh, I got hit by the weak hit, time to do something. And then you're already getting hit by something else. That's what I mean, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, strong hit, it's like, okay, I can do, like, I can think about my defensive option. Yeah. Because it's got so much hit stuff. Yeah, no, really, when you get hit by a strong Roy move, the game kind of stops for a second, and you both get to think about what's going to happen next. The game lets you know you got hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, really, that's, it's actually funny, as I, I really love hit stun. I think it makes so many of the hits in this game feel so important. So it's like electricity, like electric type moves in this game. They are, they keep you in stun for so long, and it's so funny. That's true. It, it's, and it's all, like, that's what makes the moves feel really good, right? It's like Rob back here, like, if that move had no hit stun, like, that'd feel terrible to you. Exactly, yeah. But it makes a nice sound, and, and it, they're, like, shaking around for, like, half a second before oh, they die. Oh, okay, what the hell? Jesus. Dura was ahead, like he found the stock really early and he was 70% chilling. But now, no one's chilling, it's a last stock situation already. This is the quickest, already four stocks gone in five minutes. 30 seconds per stock. This, scary, this character's so scary when you're above them. You gotta be so scared of Karim. They have the juggling point. And then when you're below them as well, the pin through the stage, two frame and killing. Yeah, that's it. It's a really good stage for it too. Mm. I mean, most stages, like obviously they, they like go in, so like you've got that option. Yeah. But Smashville, Town, both of those have really good pin options that you get a lot of reward out of. It's big, you know, people scoop up the stage as well there. It's like, I mean, Battlefield, obviously the classic pin stage with those incredibly thin ledges. Yeah. And now, um, now we're on a stage which is like the polar opposite, right? Where it's like a relatively flat uh, ledge to grab. It's, I mean, you can still hit it, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's not as easy. Yeah, it's a little bit chunkier, you know? Yeah. A little bit of thickness at the ledge. And I think, um, look, one game old, that was, a, like, a really incredible back and forth. We saw, like, both players pulling ahead at different points of that game, um, taking, taking stocks off, like, nothing. I love that, like... Option. What? Jesus. <laughs> I can't believe that Sour Dare connected there. But Strix, I don't think Strix was expecting it either, so we didn't get anything on it. Because the thing is with that down air, it has like no lag, right? So they can use it as a bait before they do their option. But yeah. they actually hit that time, so it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, just grab the shield. I mean, like, what's going to happen? What's he going to do? You know? You pick something, maybe you get a jail. And if he doesn't pick anything, then you get to run away. Man. It's a win-win! A win-win-win with the back air at the edge! Bring it in, another 30%. Too low. Unlucky. That is rough for Dura. But it happens, you know? It's the pressure of these situations. Loses exactly. finals. Loses finals at... At EBS pre-BAM. Pre-BS. Pre-BS, I like pre it. Pre-BS. Holy <laughs> moly. Oh, what? That would have been insane, actually. That would have been crazy. I love the idea. Even the idea is <laughs> just insane. <laughs> yeah, the idea... Jura's on a different plane of existence, dude. He's actually like, we're all trying to do science and he's doing alchemy. Whatever he's doing, it's fun. <laughs> he's just crouching, like, what is this? I think Jura's trying to, like... Oh, Damn, my gosh. Son. He... he... He didn't have to go that hard. We were like, he's two stocks up. He can end the game however he wants. But he was like, nah, I'll do it for the people. That, that game did not register in my brain. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, that's crazy. Too much shit, too quickly. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. That that's was, nuts. That was insane. The election's coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm voting one for Strix. <laughs> I'm putting him on my ballot. I don't know much about the, the politics of Fire Emblem to, to make a, a funny, witty joke about it. 
See, like, I, I'm not talking about any politics other than I think Strix is. I think that down air was the furthest thing from conservative. <laughs> that was, um. What do we call that? That's like the, um. You know, when, like, the, the leader in charge, like, starts spending too much of, like, the people's money? Oh, That's dude, the F smash? I just, like, my head just real. All my muscles tensed up, bro. Oh. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. We're back, we're back. Now, Bankai, do you know what that means? That's from Bleach. Is it? I yeah, thought... do you know Bleach? I know Bleach, I'm aware. I... It's like not a new anime. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty old. That's from Bleach. Oh! Oh, you took And that's that... done it! The name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ask him if that was the thing? If that was the thing? No. Uh, Bankai is like the. It's, it's it's the main character of Bleach. It's his special move. Okay. It's, it's the. It's like when you like channel your sword's energy and like become one with your sword and stuff. That's what it is. Which kind of makes sense with this character and all the characters that uh, Jury's been playing in the last couple of weeks. That's true. Oh, yeah. Not gonna do it. That is so good for Jurai if he can make it back. I like usage of the wing. Usage of that that back air to give him a little bit of momentum to make it back, but unfortunately Strix so consistent at that edge guard. I hope I didn't get called a weeb. I haven't watched anime ever, never once. I didn't. No, I actually don't watch anime. In I, fact, you've, you've no, 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 I've never watched anime in my bruh. life. And you know what? You know what? I don't even know what Japan is. Was that you made up? It's a conspiracy, man. You know, the other day somebody asked me if they wanted to go get ramen, and I was like, I was like, what is a ramen? <laughs> I didn't think Japan exists, honestly. Jack made it up. Jack Gorman made Japan yeah, up. Yeah, Jack Gorman invented Japan, actually. <laughs> oh, what is oh parry, my god! Harry the Roy explosion, and he's catching the that covered everything. The pin drop, dude. That's like the Anthony Fantano. <laughs> the needle drop, bro. Oh. That's insane. <laughs> Just occasionally hearing these like snippets of Jacob. <laughs> oh man, this game is, is still mighty close. It, no, this could go either way. I mean, Jura is just a. Oh, that that was. Oh, good. why why did you do that? Oh, oh it, it it cancelled. Oh, there you go. Yeah, F's nasty, nasty. Game. Good works to Shrika taking out that set three one. You know what? I appreciate Smazio in the chat bringing out the Corrin knowledge. Yeah. You know, like like MK Leo picked up Corrin, but before that, Smazio was there. He was, was on the Corrin years before.